Hey guys, we are starting a new Let's Play, and don't worry, all my other Let's Plays are continuing. I'm actually on a really weird sleep schedule right now, which I'm gonna try and fix tonight. I woke up early so I could do that, which is why the video, I don't know, I've had like erratic upload schedule the past few days, and YouTube's been a little funky too. Um, but yeah, I mean, once I fix my sleep schedule, I wanna have multiple uploads a day, so I figured I should probably start some new Let's Plays to like fill that content in and then continue like Desperate Housewives, Sims 4, Pregnant Channel, Challenge. Another Sims for Let's Play I'm working on. Um, Indigo Prophecy I have to get back to. Cinders. Everything. I mean, I know you guys it's always ask me, like, when is this coming out? It's coming. Just give me time and, you know, unless, <laughs> I'll get to it. I swear. I swear. All right. Let's begin the journey. I wanted to play The Longest Journey because a new uh, game of The Longest Journey is actually coming out and it has a female protagonist. And I don't know. I kind of like games with... Um, a female protagonist. Maybe they're more relatable to me. I don't know. But I just wanted to play this so that I could, um, I've heard it's a fantastic game, and so that I could get ready for um, one of the sequels. Uh, I believe there's another sequel after this one that I'll probably play through. Um, as long as you guys enjoy this. If not, I can play it on my own. But yeah, like, let me know with like a like on the video or a comment, you know, however you do. Let's do this. I'm excited. Prologue. A lion is in the streets, snatching up your children, touching on your wives. So, you've come to hear me tell a story, have you? Sure have, you old goblin. If you please, we would love to hear one of your stories. <laughs> you have seen so much. You have lived so long. Oh, <laughs> so good of you to remind me of my age, child. No, don't worry. I am an old woman, but I've lived a long and fulfilling life, and I do have stories to tell. Look at her ears. Oh, that's Which her ponytail. Like to hear? A true one. A true story. All my stories are true, child. There are enough fairy tales in the worlds already. There's no need for me to make up more, believe me. Tell us the story of the balance, then. <laughs> you want the story of the balance? Oh, that's a long story, child, and not one I'd venture to tell at this hour. But perhaps I could tell you a story that I heard a long time ago. I like stories. A story that became a crucial turning point in the history of the balance, and that set in motion wheels that to this day are still turning. I love starting new games. Please, yes, that does sound like a story we'd like to hear. Very well. This story, like all good stories, begins where it ends. In a tower. In a realm that is no more. Oh no, Grandma's telling us her sex stories again. Cover your ears. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. What is this? Are these hieroglyphics? The Longest Journey. I've really heard such good things about this game, and I, I've never played it. It's a point-and-click adventure, and I'm just beyond excited. I hope it lives up to the hype. I really do. And no spoilers, by the way, in the comments. If any of you spoil this for me, you're going to get a good slap, which just means you're going to get banned. Banished to the afterworld. Also, I probably have a little fun with this uh, Let's Play, and I might make inappropriate comments during cutscenes. Just bear with me. I'll, not, I'll try not to interrupt them too much, but sometimes I just can't resist. And, uh, what in the world? Oh, damn. They're, like, getting lit up by the titties. <laughs> oh, wait, what? <gasps> He's getting it good. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, really fantastically tweezed eyebrows, though. Very nice. In my head, I'm, th I'm thinking of Michael Jackson's Thriller, and I wanted the shadow to start dancing. I don't know why I thought of that. It just happened. <laughs> uh, 
I like this music. It's set in the mood. Ooh, it's just, it's, uh, I can't speak. It's a dragon. It's a little dragon stone. And the cool thing about older games like this, this was in 2000, it was developed in and, uh, or released in rather, I don't know exactly the development time frame, but seeing the graphics ne uh, c then compared to now is always very interesting, at least for me. Girl, wake your ass up. She's like, shit. Think someone put something in my drink. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> oh, no. Don't tell me I'm dreaming again. You know, for once, just once, it would be nice to have a decent night's sleep without waking up screaming from a bad dream at 4 a.m. I've been... <laughs> This is off topic, but I, f I woke up screaming a lot the past month, and it was horrifying. I'd go right back to sleep. It's like I had night terrors for a little while where you, like, wake up screaming. Postcard pretty. Thinking you're dying, but you're not, and then you go right back to sleep. What's happening? <gasps> what in the heck? Oh. Your almond. It looks like an almond or an oh, egg. Perfect. A large almond. I guess if I don't do something to save that egg, I'll suffer seven years of bad karma or something. Okay, well, let's save the egg. Big egg. Guessing that. Wait, did she have four fingers? Was that a four fingered hand? Did that sound come from the egg? Oh, that's some chick. I hope that's not the mother, because we're about to get our ass whooped. We touch that egg. I don't think I can get a good grip on it. It's too big and slippery, and I might drop it by accident. <laughs> I'm sorry. I read too big and slippery, and my mind wandered to other things. Okay. Just look at it. I no, I might drop it. There's got to be some other way to get it back into the nest. Okay. We got a twig. Ye, ye, ye. Oh no! Oh, I'm s what? Oh, the suffering we must endure. Oh, suffering! I thought it was like, yeah, girl. What? Grab that twig. Why do you take such pleasure in torturing us? Wait, is that a tree or a torturing you? Who are you? Tree knob goblin. We are the voice of all trees, the spirit of wood and leaf. Oh, spirit You're of wood. Tree. No, a tree does not talk. At least not in your tongue. The tongue of trees is the language of wood, root, and leaf. Who are you then? Like we said, we are the voice of all trees. Whenever an injustice is done, we must speak for the tree if we are present. It's the branch. I shouldn't have broken the branch off. Oh, what does it matter anyway? There is nothing more to be done for us. We are simply here to provide comfort in the final passing to Earth. We? I only see one of you. We are one with our host, as we are all one spirit, but legion. Look, buddy, I just wanted a branch. Yeah. Uh, thanks for clearing that up. Didn't want a life story. We do not expect you to understand. You are human. What happened to the tree? What's the deal with the egg? Who are you again? Um, what's the deal with the egg? What's the deal with the egg? Egg? What egg? Oh, of course, the child. It's a child? Whenever the mother was absent, we were entrusted with the safety of the child. Oh, just a but bird. Now, yeah. Withered and without strength, we can do nothing a to chick help. Chick a doodle. <laughs> <laughs> we have failed the mother, and we despair. Our shame knows no bounds. What happened, what happened to, the tree? to the tree? Oh, the pain. As the battle raged, we... Battle? Between the mother and black chaos, 
She was only protecting her child, but it would not back down. And the force of their battle shook the mountain. Like an earthquake? The brook that fed us was led astray, and without water, we began to wither and die. Who are you again? We are the wood spirit. We come to all trees in the hour of great need to provide comfort and aid in the passing to earth and to give a voice to those who suffer. Our time is running out as we speak. The passing to earth is about to begin. Leave us now. What about the egg? Oh, it is too late. Without sustenance, we do not have the strength to bring it safely home. We have failed. And the Earth will know our shame for all time to come. Look, I can use the branch and get the egg. It's gonna be alright. You know, Debbie Downer. Okay. <laughs> are you always, are you this, always glum? this glum? Oh, I don't have to say it. Yeah. We are here because it is too late. The passing has begun. Leave us. Please. Everyone has that one friend that Isn't is exactly there like this. I can do to help? Oh, we do not expect a human to come to our aid. Lose the attitude, okay? Just tell me if there's anything I can do. Slap him! It is futile. We need water, but there is none. Not after the brook changed course. I hear water in my headphones. I'll find a way. Don't panic. We do not panic. Unlike you, we accept our destiny. If, however, against all odds, you do succeed, we will carry the child safely back into its nest. Do not make a foolish attempt on your own. It would spell certain misery. I could get that egg. Let me get that egg. No, the spirit said the tree would lift the egg back. I don't want to risk dropping it. We wouldn't. We don't have any water, bitch. According to the, um, spirit. There was some kind of battle that split the rock and changed the course of the stream. It's like he acted like there was no water ever. I'm in my undies. That's so not appropriate. It is inappropriate. But, you know, it's just a dream, I think. According to the... Alright, so... I'm an artist, not a botanist. All right, so tree is nearly dead. How do we get to? Let's go check out the uh, nest. Actually, I think there's like a little this is interesting cliff, I've so never we can't seen a get to that um, before. stream. What do we have here? I'll keep it as a souvenir. What is it? Is it a feather? A branch? Oh, a scale. Okay. Anything else? Back in the real world, they'd probably charge 15 bucks a bottle for this. Yeah, probably. According to fresh mountain water. Can I, like... According to... Can I use the branch to, um... How about the scale? Yeah. I'll lose my balance and fall if I have to hold the scale like this. I need something to support it with. I have a branch. Where are you the rock? Okay, so no, we can't do the rock. I'll lose my balance yeah. and fall if I have to hold a scale like this. I need something to support it with. With your undies. All right, we could use the I undies as a filter. A cool. I'm so proud of myself. All right, go, go, go. Wait, this hold should up. do the trick. Look at us making things happen. The tree's like, ooh, that ass, girl. Give me that water. Give me that ass. We gonna get this egg. Oh. Oh. I don't know. No. Oh. I wish my dreams were this cool. Talk about instant rehab. <laughs> Can we talk, talk about to it? Instant Are you gonna say thank you, tree? 
I just saved your ass. Hello? Hello? Leave us be. Oh, it gave us a little heart. Are you okay? We find our strength returned. And so we have no time for idle conversation. We must drink and rejoice. I but the egg. Aren't we forgetting something? Yeah. Hush, listen. The song of ancient wood. Is it not sweet? Sweet, definitely. Yeah. The baby's probably ready to boogie down as well. <laughs> the baby. Oh, the egg. Thank the earth. We almost forgot. <gasps> <laughs> Trees, man. Uh oh. Aw, oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Nice. I thought I was gonna grab her butt on the way back, like, hey, girl. Okay, time to what leave. Was that? Time to go run away. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh shoot. Is that a dragon? Are we a dragon boy? It is you. You have come. Oh, I'll come. You know me? April, daughter. I have been waiting for you. Wait, you're my mom? Waiting? Why? Because it begins here. With you, as it always has. What do you mean? The breach and the mending, the pain and the joy, the end of the old and the dawn of the new. A different world. I am the mother of what is, but you, you are the mother of a future that may yet be. How will I know? How will I know what to do? First put some clothes on, bitch! It. And I will protect you as much as I can. But in the end, you are on your own. I'm afraid. You always were, my child, my daughter. I like that this voice. This is probably not a good thing. They can hear you. Yeah, how do we get home? No, what in the Oh, okay. Uh Looks like an air butthole. That just shit us off a cliff. Um <laughs> Chapter 1, Penumbra. That was interesting. I really liked the um dragon mom voice. Okay, so it was a dream. Completely exhausted. I must have been tossing and turning all night. It's so hot in here too. All no night with the spirit I of the wood. These weird dreams. I've basically been simmering in my own sweat every night this past week. Doesn't look like it's gonna cool down anytime soon either. It's another sunny day in Newport. All right. Let's well, sell. it's a good thing the studio's got proper air conditioning. I promised myself I was going to spend most of the day working, and I don't intend to break that promise. Not this time. Alright, so we should probably put clothes on. We have boots on, or are those socks? <laughs> Alright. Alright, clothes. so my wardrobe's sort of chic deficient, but I can't afford to be cutting edge. Useful, practical, and cheap is my shopping mantra. Sounds when good. When fame and wealth come knocking, I'll buy a wardrobe the size of an ocean liner and fill it with clothes for a million bucks. Right now, I'll try to focus on my work. Oh, well, yeah, but we when gotta get dressed wealth to do knocking, that. When fame I could only carry one suitcase with me when I left home. There was so much I would have loved to bring, but c'est la vie. At least it was a clean break with my past. Okay. I guess when all my hard work starts paying off, I'll get a house and fill it with all kinds of new junk. The past, who needs it? Is that Thomas the Tank Engine? Oh, it's a toy monkey. Yeah, better take that. It's a bunch of drawings I drew when I was a kid. 
I don't even know why I brought them here. They mean absolutely nothing to me. Okay. What when about fame these and wealth come knocking? When fame and when fame and wealth. It's when real wood. It's real wood. Oh my god. It's gosh. real wood. Okay. Well. <laughs> Oh, is this like are we working in here? Because if we're working in here, working in that's our underwear. Desk. So no big deal. Theoretically, that's where I'm supposed to do my work. I think my muse has departed me for greener pastures though, because lately, inspiration's been fleeting at best. Okay. Well It's just a chair. Oh. Ooh, our diary. Let's talk to it. Hey diary. Dear diary. Note to self. Dreams of talking trees and dragons aside, it's still no excuse for talking to inanimate matter in the real world. So quit it. I'm sorry. What is this fan? That fan is supposed to keep the room nice and cool in the summer. Sure. Yeah. It's at least, oh, one quarter of a degree cooler in here when it's on. <laughs> I hate not having air conditioning. I like to be cold. I'd better head over to the studio to do some work. Only two weeks until the big show opens, and my contribution is in serious need of attention. So yeah, we do have to go to the studio. To first, though. I mean, because technically this kind of seemed like a studio apartment, so I didn't know if she was just calling it her studio. All right, good. We've put on clothes. Those were boots. We wore boots to sleep. <gasps> hey, babe. Don't look at my ass. Babe, you're looking real sexy today. Don't talk to me. Zach, listen, I I've got to run... And what's going on, April? How you been? I've got to go. <laughs> All right, I was doing just fine I was until doing you just came fine along. Until you came along. What's that? Uh, hey, uh, listen. I was thinking maybe you and I could hook up tonight. Go to the pavilion or something. We could pop a few raptures, do a little close dancing. How about it? This is the motherfucker who slipped something in my drink. I just know it. Uh, no. No, that's not gonna work, Zach. What? You got something against me, babe? Do I offend you in some way? You're like creeping outside my oh, freaking no. door. I just don't think it's a good idea for us to be together like that. Hey, whatever. You come crawling back when you realize your mistake, babe. I'm out of here. Good. I'm on my way then. That's right. Open that door, you what sketch an bitch. Asshole. Yeah, asshole. All right. Let's go to work. Making my way downstairs, and there's creeps here. Du -du 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 All right, man. Hello, who are you, Fiona? Let's talk to her. She's watching a nature program. Morning, Fiona. Good morning, darling. You're up early. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. Are you feeling all right? You look a little pale. I am. Uh, I'm fine. I I had a bad I nightmare. Had a bad nightmare. Again? Well, you're not the only one, darling. Mickey woke me up screaming in the middle of the night. She wouldn't go back to sleep until I made her a cup of herbal tea. Nightmares? Mm. Apparently. But she refuses to tell me what they were. I think she's embarrassed. That doesn't sound like Mickey. I know, darling. Don't tell her I said so. But I've never seen her so agitated in my life. She scared the hell out of me. I don't hmm. know why I have nightmares. I guess they could be stress-related. After all, the exhibition's right around the corner. Oh, yes. The school exhibition. How's that going? God, don't ask. I have no idea how I'm going to finish my painting on time. I haven't felt inspired in ages. I think you work too hard, darling. You need to relax once in a while. Live. Enjoy your youth. There's inspiration to be found in hedonism, you know. No, mm -hmm. I don't know, but apparently you do. <laughs> I'm an authority on the subject, darling. Ask Mickey. She'll tell you I don't lift a finger around the place unless I absolutely have to. All right, I bet. Uh, where is everybody this morning? Shouldn't you be outside enjoying the good weather? Um, uh, where's where is everyone? everybody this morning? Mickey's tied up in the basement. Mm. Mind you, she's not literally tied up, of course. Although that is a tempting thought. 
Are you getting into your sexual fantasies here, Fiona? Because it's a little too early in the morning for that, don't you think? Sorry, I just can't help myself. <laughs> anyway, the plumbing is... You probably noticed when you took a shower, yeah? There's no hot water. So Mickey's working on that. Getting knee-deep in putrid canal water is her job. Thank God. What about Charlie? He up yet? No, he's still sleeping. And Emma just went to bed. I saw her come in when I was making breakfast. Do you know who she's seeing now? I don't know. Some guy? Those lads I see her with, darling. She's too good for those assholes. I wish she'd find herself a man who'd treat her right for once. She hasn't had much luck with love, no? She's a magnet for creeps. And she's so pretty. They prey on her, you know, bastards. I got another creep for her. I've tried to talk to her about it, but Emma's impulsive. She doesn't listen. She's just as headstrong as you and me, darling. But I'm sure she'll be all right. She's smart and resourceful. And not afraid to speak up for herself. All right, well, I gotta uh, be going. I better get going. Off to school. Yeah, there are no more classes this semester, but I have to finish my painting by next Thursday. For what it's worth, darling, good luck. And don't work too hard, all right? Thanks, G. Well then, I'm gonna make my way what? out. I got something on my face? Is my hair okay? What are you looking at? Huh? I think I accidentally clicked her. <laughs> and she went nuts So, Ooh, is that a butt? I love this mural. Even though the motif is a little trite. I mean, fairy tale forests and magical dragons? Still, it's pretty. I wonder what happened to the artist. Probably making a bundle from cheesy fantasy calendars and book covers. Hmm. <laughs> Yes. Wait, so this is... That is really cool. Hello. What's your name? Oye, senorita. Hey. Yes. How are you this morning, senorita bonita? Oh, I thought it said busty. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> what are we saying? Where are we going with that? Hot. Hot. I see. The summers in Newport are never pleasant. And it will get worse before it gets better. They say there's another heat wave headed our way. That drought. Yeah, so I heard. So, you gonna be all right? You don't look dressed for the weather. Si Dios quiere. Sunshine and pretty senoritas give an old man like me the blues. I like my days cold and rainy. In fact, I think I prefer the world to be in black and white. I like the sound of rain. Like an old movie. Like all good movies. But tell me, Senorita Ryan, how would you describe your perfect day? Hot and sunny like this one, cold and rainy like yours. Sorry, but I have to run. Like, I like being outside, but, like, ideal weather is, like, a nice calm breeze and, like, 70s, 80s, maybe hoodie weather. Um, maybe not quite hoodie weather. Just where you can be out and about and comfortable and not sweating. I like that. Um, I'll say cold and rainy. rainy like yours. Está bien. We are alike, you and I. But this heat is not why you are unhappy, no? You are trouble, my nightmares. No, I think this what? guy just slipped something in my dream. You are afraid of them. You even fear your dreams may be real. Who told you about my nightmares? No one. I can tell from looking into your eyes. I see the ghosts that haunt you. Maybe this guy did it. I don't know who you've been talking to, but from now on, stay the hell away from me in my personal life. <laughs> oh, Senorita Ryan, you have a destiny. I am your mother. Destiny? Senorita I don't care Ryan. What you think. Just, just leave me alone. <laughs> if Raisin, you don't face the them, dad. I'm afraid your nightmares will continue. Soon they will appear to you even when you're awake. You need some serious help, you know that? We all do, April. That's the reason we are here, you and me. That's it. I don't have to listen to this. Perdóname. I've upset you. We didn't think you'd react this way. I hope we can talk again soon. I don't think so, no. Please, think about it. And, senorita, cuidado. Be careful. 
I made love to Dragon. We made you. <laughs> All right. Bye, Dad. <laughs> to the bridges. <laughs>